So, let's get into it, guys. First off, I'm almost done the field pass. Well, I'm almost halfway done the field pass. First player we get is a free 95 overall. This is actually what you get from doing the solo challenges. And this is the honorable mention pack, by the way. All right. So, we got a 95. Ooh, we got 95 corner here. Which has 95 zone, 87 man, and 95 speed. Doesn't really have any good man coverage, but it would be an upgrade. Actually, really, <laughs> it really wouldn't be. Holy crap, I forgot how good our secondary is, man. I forgot how good our secondary is now. Now 95 overall corner is not even that much of an upgrade. We can't go right outside linebacker because um, <clears throat> that Micah Parsons, yeah, he's a 95 now. I've upgraded him to a 95, and I'm about to hit a 96. So we, he is absolutely freaking crazy good. Um, D tackle could be a spot we upgrade. DeForest Buckner um, could actually upgrade him. Okay, DeForest Buckner is an option, but I think the best option here is the offensive lineman. Middle linebacker is also really good, but we do have Ray Lewis and we have Wildman. Um, oh, 94 speed on that Roquan Smith is not bad. All right, so the offensive line options we have here are going to be... We're not going running back. We're not going corner. Although, wait, how fast is Bland? 96 speed. No, 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 no. Let me not. Let me not get away from the the correct choices here. Just, just a check. Okay, we don't need him. He has ninety four speed. EA, D they're triggering my ADD. Um, I guess we should check every player. No. Okay. So left tackle. We currently have Taylor Decker. We don't really need to upgrade Taylor Decker. Um, yeah. No, he's. Plenty fine. 96, 90. Yeah, he has literally... He's he's a 94, but he has better stats than this uh, Tristan Wirfs, which is actually kind of crazy. Um, Joe Bentonio, though, would be an upgrade over our current guy. And out of all the options available, he is going to be the guy I go with here. So, we got a new left guard, which is good because, you know, we're trying to... Upgrade this offensive line as much as I can. So, let me see what fast. Is he... He's NAT. Okay, so... He was the NAT guy I got for the Divisional... Uh, Division Dynasty. So, that's something. Center, right guard, and right tackle. Okay. That's the three positions I want to upgrade there. Wide receivers, I think we're good on. Defensive line... Ugh... Let's look at the options. So, first player I want to look at, if we go to auctions here, is going to be, I want to pick up a Team of the Year player. I do. Because, fresh promo out, these cards are the best in the game, so, why not, ooh, 200000 already for the 95s. Alright. And the 96s, sorry, 97s, depending on what position, are already freaking low as crap. Center... 484k, 87k, 97, 98 pass block, 97 run block. That's an upgrade. That's definitely a freaking upgrade. What does the right guards look like? Right guard and right tackle. I want to see what these guys look like as well. Chris Livstrom, who is 591,000 coins. Um, compared to our guy Robert Hunt, yeah, he's a tad bit better. <laughs> Yeah, any of these three offensive linemen are going to be a huge upgrade to what we have now. That's not even a question at this point. Uh, right tackle. Who was the right tackle? It's Penny Sewell. And let me guess. He has like 99, 99, 99. 98 pass block, 98 run block. Who do I currently have at right tackle? I have Taylor Moten. Yeah. I think I'm going Penny Sewell here. Might be an un... Not a popular pick here, but I feel like he is the best option. Although, so I was going to say, is he the, is that the correct price tag for him? I feel like that's really mad expensive. And I feel like you could get done his set so much cheaper and do his set so much cheaper here. Yeah, 550 is how much he should be going for. 
So, it's 50k over, and I just don't feel like doing a set, but reality-wise, the smartest thing to do there is just to do his set and get his set done. That would be the smartest idea if you want to maximize your coins here, but for this, we're just going to buy his card off the auction house. So, now we have a new left guard. We have a new right tackle. We still got to upgrade the center and the right guard eventually, but... I guess, really, I'm going to have to try to save up some coins and get the t new Team of the Year center and right guard because that's going to be really the next big upgrade. Because outside of that, again, I mean, we're rocking a pretty damn good squad here for no money spent. Kind of insane, too. I mean, I guess... I'll, I'll say it like this, right? Because forever in Madden, I've, I have... I started no money... I was a no money spent guy. For 90% of my Madden experience. Like before I started doing YouTube full time. I was no money spent. Then I started doing YouTube full time. And then I became money spent. But even before then. I would still have really good squads. Even no money spent. This is probably my best squad. No money spent. Just based on the amount of hours I spent on this squad. And that's what honestly I think is the craziest. Is just how much time it takes. And I understand people who say like time is money. And if you're spending time. You're actually technically spending money because you're not like, you know, it, there, there, there is some equation to you could be using that time to do other things in your life that you're using for Madden. But I, I think we got a pretty damn good squad. 98 overall right tackle. Now we got 96 overall left guard. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts, opinions, though, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.